Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Monday, and that means we are using Ubel Beat. So hopefully I won't draw a crap ton of Ubel. Pretty much, at this point, I just want to get this over with. I just want to go ahead, get on, duel with Ubel, win or lose. What do you mean, how to beat Infernities? There's a couple ways to beat Infernities. Prevent special summoning. Move from play. Graveyard lockdown, definitely a couple ways you can be in front of these, especially with their barrier at one, I mean, ever since their barrier went down to one, every person that knew that playing in front of these kind of just threw the deck away. I mean, I really can't confirm for Stanzi, but I know, like, all my friends like, in real life who played, uh, that I actually know, they threw away their decks, so. They just wanted to move on. One of my friends got even dirtier, and he literally moved from, uh, Infernities to, uh, Chainburn, like, Really? Dirtiness. Just just the dirtiness. It's like I'm playing that uh that Millennium Duels on the Xbox. Uh if you guys don't know what that game is, it's like a, a new game on the Xbox, I think Live Arcade, I think it's like ten dollars. And you can literally go through all four seasons of Yu Gi Oh well series of Yu Gi Oh and duel against, you know, various characters from the Yu Gi Oh series. So after you beat everybody, you know, Yugi, everybody from Yugi to Jaden to Yusei to Yuma, all the people, then you unlock this expert mode, where in expert mode, the character, you read all the characters, except they actually have, you know, valid decks and not just, you know, just some crap thrown together. So the first duel that you go against in expert mode is Taya, and she has Madoches, but then right after that, you duel against Yugi's grandpa, and he is a freaking scrub, he came at me with Exodia. Freaking Exodia. Can you guys believe that? Like, and I don't mean like, oh, you run it on like, I mean, full blown out, you know, blocking me with Swift Scarecrows and Battle Faders and Threatening Wars and Wabukus and drawing and everything. The works. Like, it really looked like a freaking Exodia deck that you would see. Is my summon okay? Like, at the works. Like, it was just like, what? And, and the duel, the duel was just disgusting, too. So close. Like, literally, I got him down to, like, 50 life points, and I couldn't, I don't have a cowboy. I, they never gave me a cowboy. Like, I was like, wow, okay, I would love a cowboy. I had two level fours, but 50 life points, I was like, if you make Exodia and you only have 50 life points left, I will murder you. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, that kind of sucks for you, Bell, but... All oh, face of six, level 6 or higher special summon monsters in the field cannot declare an attack or activate their effect. Okay. Well, that's fine. I won't be able to wipe the field with terror, but it says activate their effects. Not like their effects are negated. Therefore, you know, all my, uh... All my continuous effects are not stopped. So, that's good. You know, so... Shit, I can summon no you bell first form and I won't have to tribute during the end phase. The opponent's turn the player must tribute one face up monster if they do inflict damage to their opponent. During each player's end phase. So that would go off, right? Uh so when that activates, I'll go ahead and chain. So I don't have to do it. Because your card would activate, require me to tribute monster, and I will get out of there. Of course I draw ultimate nightmare. That's not a surprise. Surprised I wouldn't have any many viewers, cause look who's on Yo Yu-Gi-Oh channel. <laughs> uh, so I'll go ahead and just summon Rabbit. So Thunderbird attack. Oh, let me get the counter. I chained to your activation. So during your end phase. I was removed from play. Yep, you activated that, I went chain. <coughs> so when this goes off the end phase, I don't have a face-up monster. Because it's removed from play to the my standby phase. So once again, I was gone. And I can do it again. I can literally hop around your ectoplasm. 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 <laughs> What kind of gobbly goop shit is that? So, Thunderbird attack. 
with uh, whatever the name of your attack is. I don't know. Thunder, Thunder, Thunder Avian Strike. I don't know. I am not that creative. That's a direct attack. Direct attacked. Oh, or when a ghost trick monster, you could. How do I, I? I don't think you can do that. It doesn't work like that. When your opponent declares an attack, a direct attack. Oh, when a ghost trick monster you control is the target for attack, you can. Uh, I can't, don't know if that is a ghost uh, ghost trick monster, so you would not be able to do that. Now, when I attack and then I go for the direct attack, you can drop lantern, but you can't do it on this attack because I don't know if this is a ghost trick right here. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. I attack your monster, your monster would be destroyed. You can't activate lantern at that time then I attack directly no, it doesn't work like that game mechanic wise it does not work like like that no you're driving me crazy it is a promise like mm, no <laughs> I attack your monster. Your monster will be destroyed. I go for the direct attack with rabbit. You block with lantern. That's how it's going to work. Oh, my God. I'm not doing this. One, I don't like doing against ghost tricks. And two, I don't like doing against scrub. So, a scrubby ghost trick player, that's when you start getting the combinations that I'm not willing to deal with. Ah. Uh. I heard... I saw you guys' comments. You want, me, you want me to put this on, uh... You guys want me to put it on... DN, I mean not DN, Dev Pro. You guys want me to put it on Dev Pro? I might, I might. The only thing that I like about DN is I can, you know, interact with you guys. You know, you guys can go ahead and hop on DN and watch me duel, communicate with me. If I get on Dev Pro, you know, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to, you know, see your comments, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and you guys know and know when I'm on. So I apologize for that if you know that if that inconvenience you. But like I said, if you guys, if you guys want it on. Uh, you guys want it on DN? I can go ahead and do it on DN. Then I don't have to do with scrubs arguing with me on shit. That's stupid. And I don't know why you have no extra. Like, what are you doing? You better not be doing anything scrubby. You better not be doing anything scrubby. If I see anything scrubby, I will murder your face. I won't murder your face. I'll just quit. Like I said. Like, when you have to duel against Exodia and Scrubs on Kier, you know, you can just yell at them and quit. But on that Millennium Duels, you literally can't progress in the game until you beat freaking, uh, until you beat freaking, uh, Yugi's grandpa. He has Exodia. Okay, I'll take on 50. I'll set this. Go ahead. Sure. Like I said, it's not like I can't get around that p pandemonium watch bear. Ooh. Oh, why'd you pick that picture? <laughs> uh, you gotta get all sexy with the Cure Master. <laughs> You saw that it was all sensual and shit? He was like, oh yeah. <laughs> this is what you want? Does this increase your vitality? <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> uh, what? Bear attack. Effect. Let me go get that tanky though. Mm. 
and set it. Main phase two, I will then activate it, because that's the way that you do it. And uh, go ahead and get me a wind up rapid. Like I said, if we don't gotta summon you bell, then you know, I won't summon it. Uh, no, nope, not many fucks were given by me today. I woke up with seven, I'm gonna go to bed with seven. Well, I guess not, because <laughs> that guy was kinda pissing me off with the ghost trick shit. Wow, you're just gonna pass it to me, you're not even gonna try... ...attempt to do anything. Fine. Attack for 1950. What's 50? It's 1950. Yep, you can start doing your fucked up numbers, I don't even care. You're gonna quit out because you don't wanna do 50? It's an additional 50. Thank you. Um, attack. With, uh, Wonder Rabbit. For 15. And seventeen. I will go ahead and get my effect again and get me another tanky since you don't know. Also, uh my friend got me the those uh tankies in the premium gold. So they look nice and shiny. <laughs> like yay do tankies. <sighs> Alright. Can you do anything, sir? This whole Healing by 500 each turn is not going to help you. Eventually, you're going to run out of life points, so... Hopefully, you can pull something out of here. Even Dark Hole won't save you. Nah, not even Dark Hole will save you. I'll bounce out of the way with these two, and Dark Hole will only get Baron. I can always call the Haunted Baron and start throwing some chairs at you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Get one more in. One more duel in. A duel against that your Yu-Gi-Oh channel get famous for beating them. <laughs> I doubt that would happen. I doubt that would happen. <laughs> Networking is hard. It's because some people, they just don't want anything to do with you. I literally don't think we've gone an episode without drawing a form of you, Bell. I don't think so. I want to get spell books. Oh, you're gonna quit. Okay, I was gonna quit. I was gonna quit, but you're the one that just said, "Oh, activate my thing, quit." Like, okay. Like I said, I was gonna be the one to quit because I didn't. I did not want to do against spell books. I don't like that deck. Like I said, I said I wanted to get one more in and make this video maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Not get one more in and make this duel. Uh, I mean, this episode like half an hour because I'm doing against a spellbook player that likes to play with themselves and touch themselves and play with themselves and touch themselves just in the end result just to get one damn card <laughs> I gotta play secrets secret search search for master master copy the secrets to get to get the faint the, the copy the 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 the, the, the power to the, the, the play the, 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 the spellbook boy the the, the the play the tower the, the, no dude calm down calm down <laughs> Like, no, those power books, they're too pro. You can't, you can't beat them, they're too pro. So, definitely don't want to deal with that. At least I might be dueling against someone these I mean, he responded to me f fairly fast. He, he said K, you know. Most people, they, you know, you ask them effect or K or something, they always, they're always like, what, what do you mean? I don't, I don't understand. I understand. Give me a bear. I don't need rabbit right now. I already got Thunderbird, so I don't need a rabbit. What I need is some revival. Like, show me, show me a Call of the Haunted. Show me a, a Mass Chameleon, Debris Dragon Limit. There's just so many revival cards in this deck that you should just be showing me the money. You should be, just be like, here, Daniel. Here is what you at requested. You wanted revival? Here you go. Draw a Limit Reverse. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Wow, got enough back row for the rest of the class? Normal summon Thunderbird? Is that okay? Oh my god damn. Just back row, back row, back row, back row, back, 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 back row, back row. Oh, you want to use your artifact thing? I don't want to duel against artifacts.
That duel is that deck is no fun. That deck is no fun. Also, I don't like that deck because it messes with you psychologically. And and yes, that was an artifact deck because you cannot activate that card. What's up with you today, Ultimate Nightmare? Swear to God, what is up with you today? Like, do you, do you, are, are you on your are you on your period, you bell? Like, goddamn. He's just showing up all the goddamn time. Watch him be like, of course. You you do your bell again, of course. Yeah, but you can't you cannot activate that artifact card if you do not have an artifact in your deck, so it's not MST. So clearly if he's activating that, he is playing artifacts, so there therefore I'm just not in the mood for it. I don't really like artifacts. Uh I'm recording. I don't really no, I don't. I don't get on DN just to play for fun. Cause dueling on DN's not fun. If I wanted to play for fun or test the deck. I'd definitely go on Dev Pro. Cause this place just kind of sucks. Oh, okay. Thank you for quitting. I'll try to get one more in. Either you're gonna quit or I'm gonna quit. So eventually, we're gonna just find a decent duel. Eventually. This is my last one. I, if they quit or we don't have a good duel, then I'm just gonna call it an episode. You can't say that I'm not trying. Hmm. I can wait pot. MST. Rabbit. Tanky. Hmm. Wish I could get you bow in the graveyard. Like Dark Greffer, I don't want to pitch Thunderbird though. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Just because I can always search for the rabbit, so. I'll go ahead and normal summon Dark Greffer. Effect. I will go ahead and pitch for costs. You want to veil me? Go ahead. Alright, that's enough. I'm not gonna sit here and wait like a millennium for you to respond. And no fucking take backs either. I hate when people do that shit. You're like, hey, wait, no! I, I, no, I, I wanted to... No, I... I, I no, no, I wanted to respond. Wait, hold on, take that back. Now, now that I see what you're planning on doing, take that back. Like, like, no. Fuck that shit. Go ahead. Alright, let's see what you're playing. Like I said, DN is the place where the noobs and scrubs play, so. Show me something irritating. I mean, you do have 1,043, so, you know. Wow. One back row. You got one back row, I'll space it. And all of this dark bribe? Okay. Sure. I want someone bear. It's the Pokemon. Bear attack. Go ahead and take the six, 17. 17, because of Tanky. In fact, I'll go ahead and Tanky up. They're both 17. They are both 17. Yeah. Wait, no. Why'd you take an extra 200? No. No. They are both 17. Plus 100 life points. You took 100 more than you should. I'll go ahead and get my tanky. There you go. Oh, I did not mean to put that in my hand. Oh well. Moved in the same result. I misclicked that shit though. Not that it's not a surprise or anything. I know. Dark Bribe 2 Pro. Dark Bribe is trash. If you, if you guys are like literally sitting there wondering like, hmm, maybe I should play Dark... No, don't. One of the biggest rules in Yu-Gi-Oh! Never let your opponent draw. Never. No. 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 Don't. Let. Them. Draw. If you let your opponent draw, 
you're just asking to get your ass kicked. So, who are you going to set your test to it? You need something to test to it. I'm, I'm going to book a moon you. I don't want you to do that. Yep, that's what I thought. Sit down. No test to it. Oh, you could just tribute it for Nesbit. Ugh, I hate this deck. Cause literally all this deck does is just try to go for the LTK. Oh, I didn't get the LTK. Oh, okay, and then I quit. You know. Sure. Chain. I'll let New Bell get hit with a Lightning Vortex. So I can summon Terror. Perfect. Yay, Terror. And aren't, there, aren't they zero attack anyway? Yeah, they are, so I don't even know what the hell you're trying to do. I'm guessing you want the Lightning Vortex now, so you can go and go into your... Uh, Autumn and then, or Tomb, or whatever his name is. So now what? You've literally revealed everything in your hand. You... If I were you, I'd go for that one guy who can pop my cards. Uh, what's his name? The Gauntlet Launcher, or whatever his guy his name is? So you can go pop you Bell, I summon Terra, I mean, pop Terra, I summon Ultimate, pop Ultimate. That's what I would do if I were you. I think that'd be a pretty optimal plan. Or you can just continue looking in my graveyard. So you better do something. M7 would be cute, but I, I still get Ultimate Nightmare, so... That's what you want to do. This guy's just staring at my grave intently, like, come on. <coughs> I don't got all day. I really don't. You're making this duel take way longer than I wanted it to. You're funny because you're using Heretic, so you'd think that you'd be going fast as balls, but for some odd reason, you're kind of just sitting there. Kind of look like you just went in my grave and then just went AFK. Close the grave goes back into the goddamn grave. All right. Dude, get out of my grave. Do something with your turn. <clears throat> oh, my God. I shit you not, if this timer right here gets to 25 and he doesn't do anything, I'm quitting. Come on. Now what, you gonna see? Who are you gonna go into? Autumn. You're gonna go into. Why are you clicking my monster? Okay. Who are you gonna go into? A couple guys I think you can go into. It's 
Seriously. This guy's just taking forever because he's taking forever. I mean, you're at him. I know. Gotta move back, summon something from the graveyard. Okay. XC and two. You can go into Pleiades if you have it. Volca. Okay. Okay. These plays are so cute. Fact. So cute. <laughs> Uh, he's just trying to overextend the shit out of himself and everything, and it's not gonna work. Ah, uh, now what? You done being cute? Yeah, are you done making this video take way longer than it should because you're being cute and you're trying to do something that you know you shouldn't be trying to do? You better not. I'll be pissed as fuck. Like if he literally says, oh, well, it's not I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and <laughs> argue with this guy. So now what? You done? Done. <sighs> this is another reason why I like freaking Sure. Oh. You done? Please tell me you're done, because I am sick and tired of you doing this. You're taking forever. Thank you. I was about to say. Fucking marathon ass turn. Almost seven. Effect. It's fine. You're taking way too fucking long. Turn to attack. What's up? Stop what? Attack effect. You take your monster's attack and it is destroyed. Oh, wait. My bad. Splash. I forgot about that. I can't summon Mast Chameleon. 
Chameleon. I totally forgot about that. So this will go back in my hand. I forgot about that. I want to summon an additional monster and kill that. That was my bad. That wasn't my click. I didn't want to click anything. But I already committed to that play. So I'm not going to do that. Because I wanted to summon a monster and kill the Redim, but... My bad. I misplayed. Okay. See, that's why I messed up. Yep, I knew you would have top decked into something. Okay. See, that's why I messed up. But it's cool. I really don't care if I win or lose. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny if I did do that. Nah, I really don't have the light points for that. because my effects would be negated, so... Yeah, I misplayed. I forgot about that. I would have had an additional summon. Instead of doing the Phantom of Chaos, I would have killed the Redim, but... I really didn't feel like arguing with the guy. He'd be like, oh no, you can't do that! Because I wouldn't be able to normal summon that anyway, so it still would have been my main phase one, but... Nah, I'm good. Plus, I don't have time to argue with the guy, like I said. Because technically, I wouldn't even be able to normal summon that, so therefore, it still would have been my main phase one, so I could have summoned something else and attacked over the Redim, because it would still have zero D, but didn't feel like arguing with the man. Definitely not. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode, so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with Plague Glacier Seabell. Thanks for watching.